Hi everybody, this is Anthony from Sunny Creates. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And before we start, I want to wish each and every one of you a happy and blessed 2023. May this year be a fruitful one, a blessed one, and may everything that your heart desires come to fruition as long as it's the will of God. Okay, so... um. I'm wishing you and your family all the very best for 2023 and I hope to see you more often on this channel and also I hope that you will enjoy your crafting on this channel as well. So without further ado, I am really busy um, painting so I thought very early in the morning I will come to you and just give you a very very quick uh, project to work on and this project stems oh look how dirty that is and i'll tell you why just now and this project stems from the fact that i kind of took two days to clean my craft room i think i'm 50 percent over there and then the other 50 percent i just need to like tidy up drawers Nothing's changing in the drawers, but just then tidy them up a bit and things like that. So I found this while I was crafting. I've got another one, but yeah, so I'm using this one. And why I'm bringing this project is that I got scraps galore. Now, when I talk scraps, I don't talk about, um, uh, you know, big pieces of paper or anything of that sort. Uh, to me, scraps are really small stuff like this i got some big pieces of a digital paper and stuff like that i got a lot of those but i mean not all of us will consider big pieces of digital paper and stuff like that scraps okay so to me these are scraps literally and i got about three boxes three two three boxes of this and I wanted to start doing something with it. So I might be bringing a few projects that have to do with scraps, but not all the projects, so that I can start reducing this here. And one of the things that we do with our scraps is we do clusters. So I am going to take three, and this is um, packing paper, packing, packing bag your brown paper bags gosh yeah so i'm going to take three of this i'll give you the measurement and then all i am going to do is i'm going to dig in here into here and hopefully in this box of scraps i am going to find some uh paper uh book pages i found a coloring book even look <laughs> so <laughs> i threw it in here and that's all causing some havoc because I can't really look but hey if I don't get it in here I got others to look at okay so there's some book page there uh, uh, there's some here uh, what else do we have a, a bit over here that looks like it's coffee dyed I don't know some over here okay yeah, we got enough we got enough to work with in fact way more than i need okay so going to use some scraps uh then we are going to use as i mentioned these uh from the brown paper bag i've got uh so these are scraps that i've been using uh well my cutoffs you know when you do digital so whatever and I got a Zutta or Zutta, and I'm trying to perfect my, uh, oh, the punch, you know, how to punch before I take on a project. And then this year was a scrap. I have a die that did this, okay. And then I've got some uh, butterflies that we're going to play with, okay. And then I've got some uh labels that we are going to be using and uh, i got 
stamps. You don't have to have this stamp. It is not necessary at all. I'm just going to be putting this away. Oh, and, and lace. I got some lace. Okay, some lace that we're going to play with as well. Just put that away. Ink. We need ink. Okay, some ink. And I am going to sew around this project because it does give it more definition. You do not have to sew. It is not necessary to sew. And I'm just using Tom Holtz. Uh, this is the Feel Notes one. I need to put it in the cover. And then yesterday I bought this one um, as a Christmas gift to myself. And this is the eccentric okay one so i might use it depending on how easy it is to weave them off okay because i haven't touched them as you can see so those are the things that we would be using so all i did so far oh yes so black archival ink and then any color ink that you want to just to go around the edges so i took three and i cut them out and i'll give you the sizes now i just use my die cut you can use your trimmer, you can cut freehand, it doesn't really matter. So it's two and a half inches. It's a square or it is six centimeters. So I'm only working on three. I've cut a, a whole bunch of it, but I'm not going to, I mean, the concept is the same, whatever you use. So these are three that we are going to be working on. Oh, and some fabric glue because we are using lace okay all right so what are we going to be doing first is that we are going to be stamping so going to be stamping and we are also going to be putting on our lace first okay so let's the lace so it has time to dry okay and I don't know I uh, so I found a way to use uh, you know what are these things called uh, loom bands I've got a hell of a lot of loom bands so I found a way to use my loom bands inside instead of these little pins here that were driving me insane i started using loom bands to hold my laces together and my material uh, my ribbons together so i'm just going to add about that much there so yes i hope the new year has started well with all of you <clears throat> and you've been doing what you want to do let's put it that way whatever is important to you to do i hope you've had time to do that and oh yes what i want to mention to you well uh so um <laughs> so i don't know when this video is going to air because i know i told you i'm going to be doing videos monday wednesday and friday okay which is the plan right depending on my schedule but um in so uh you know preparing the room to paint yesterday uh we needed to pull out our old alarm uh cords and kind of um yeah they were just hanging around because when we moved into the place we we wired up the system again and <laughs> we never did pull out the old one. So <clears throat> the old alarm plug goes through the, 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 the lounge. And then we have like a, underneath our stairs an area where we can close the door. And we keep our uh, uh, shoes. Like, you know, we've made a place to keep our shoes. And that went into there because there's a plug point in there. And when they put set up our fiber, they set it up through there. So the, a lot, so the fiber cords are in there as well. And when Hubby was pulling out the alarm uh, cords, it got tangled in the fiber one. And he inadvertently pulled out the fiber. So 
uh, we hopefully will be having someone come out today and sort it out uh, and that's the reason why <laughs> I'm making this video in the hope that it will be sorted out today yeah <clears throat> and then uh, if it is then it is Tuesday and this video will probably go up in the afternoon after when we take our break you know after trying to paint because our lounge is pretty big though so it's gonna take like three days to prep and paint it uh, here we go so can you see how cool is that i mean really sorry <laughs> maybe someone else thought of that idea but yes so just sharing what i found out and then let's wipe this out and put it away yeah right uh, i wonder there's something underneath it okay cool so we have done that and now we are going to stamp and let's see let's see how easy it is to read out and let me turn it around so i can actually see what i'm doing yeah i set up my craft table again so i'm kind of move things around a bit so hopefully i am going to be able to realize what i'm doing so i i get, gave in and bought the eccentric set I'm not sure yet about the tim Holtz chapter three they are extremely expensive here but I, I, I think it's extremely expensive everywhere uh, right now. So uh, I don't know where I'll get it. Because I do have a cameo. So I might not get it. I just cut out and keep in bulk. Like my file folders and stuff like that. Okay, so that's that. Let's look at, I seem to like this one. Uh, can I get it out? I don't want to waste your time. But I also want to show you what the stamps look like. Especially for the South African viewers. But I mean, it's not like you don't watch other people using it. Oh, I like that. And then the last thing is, let's see what else that's cool over here to use. Mm. Oh, don't know. I think I want to use this one. Oh, it's not so hard to read. Not so hard. Okay, so we'll use this one. And then we'll add to it later on. If we need to, yes, and I got a the um, guillotine for uh, my birthday. But, whoa, belated. I only got it yesterday, and my birthday was on the 24th of October. And I gave in and bought myself a new ink pad, because this one is almost dried out now, as you can see. Right, so what's the next step now? So we're going to use this. Now, obviously, if you don't have a, a machine or whatever or punch to do that, then then just use thing. Then just punch holes. Or as long as, I think the bottom line is, as long as there's some kind of um, texture to it. So I will also, on the other one, use Braille paper because Braille paper has texture. So I'm going to try and use that. This stamp, this, this die here, it is so pretty, but oh my greatness. It is like the Tim Holtz, um, uh, what's that word? We, uh, crochet dies. I, they are pretty, but man, are they annoying to use. Sorry, Tim Holtz. It is a fact. Well, for me, it is a fact. Uh, other people may find it easier to use. 
but to me, although I love, although it's a pretty, it really bothers me to use it. So like that. Yep, I'm gonna put it like that. And maybe, just maybe, maybe, I don't know. Maybe we'll we'll see whether we want to use some gauze or cheesecloth. If you're in South Africa, this is medical gauze. I don't know. I'll see whether I want to use it or not. Okay, so. Oh, let's add that there. Different but the same. It's like a mask make. You can call it your ma uh, my mask make. Here in South Africa, it is summer. And, you know, we want to play outside, go on family picnics. And things like that. But I also want to crop because I go back to work next week Tuesday, which means that I would have time to craft the way I'd like to craft. Okay, and then let's add. Oh, okay, okay, no, I did that. I did that because I was like, oh, did I put that crooked? I mean, did I put it upside down? Yeah, so trying to see whether in the last few days of my holiday if I can wake up before my family and do some crafting because once they awake they are awake once they are awake yeah so I must admit that wow to clean this craft room I've got like this big craft room and then I've got an adjoining uh, smaller room and well I didn't even touch that as yet but, uh, but that one's got more like um, home decor stuff because I also do home decor so that's got stuff that need to go into the garden and um you know go on my coming upstairs to let's add a label uh, coming up the stairs so you know my mirrors and my filters which we had to take out when we painted Let's see if we add that one there. Now we're auditioning. And I could have picked up or picked out all this beforehand, but I thought, why not show it to you in the process? Sorry for stretching over because the table is getting busy now. And I don't want that. Oh, well, we can drop this cloth here now. This. Because we'll be gluing on it. Okay, so. So we'll do that there, maybe. This one is here. I don't know. And let's see where our. Let's find a pretty butterfly for it. I don't know. Let's see. And then all you do is you sew around it, which I will do last, okay? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use the washi tape. Not washi. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to use the, the gauze. I think I'm fine. Then I think I'm going to take this paper here. Mm. 
and this isn't going in this direction so that's fine if we block it and let's find maybe that one although oh it's the same kind of thing just looking for ones over here maybe one of that okay so our butterflies are sorted uh, let's add that there this over here and then we need a label uh, don't want the labels to be too big. I need this because it's got some green in it, so it will pick up that part there. I feel there's something missing because maybe maybe it's the paper let's see no that's fine Maybe that there, and then this butterfly maybe somewhere here, and then maybe we can just add something down there, like a little stamp or something. Okay, and then the last one here. Now, very quick project, as you can see, very quick, and I think this is Greek. This is. A Greek dictionary here that I have yeah so that may be there excuse me my nose is itching and then this like here cool bananas and then just a label i need to cut out more labels because right now i don't have numbers i only have most of it is words can that go i'm not sure i'm not sure whether i like that I kind of don't want red, I want brown. Maybe this, yeah. Because that butterfly got some brown in it. Let's try that. That red green, oh my gosh. still being thought about that's too big oh these things are so full that they can't even open yeah i think i'm gonna use that but i think i'm gonna cut it down a bit so let's just put these away. Like 
like that. Okay, so we'll do that, but I'm going to cut this down because it's just a bit too big for it now, like that. So don't be afraid to cut your labels if you need to. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes you have no time. Like today is a classic example of me not having a lot of time. So this is the one way of, you know, just um, taking out a few scraps and working with a few scraps at a time. And uh, hopefully not causing too much of a mess in your craft room at the same time. Okay, so let's put that there. We know it's going there. And then we're going to ink these up quickly. Hopefully they won't take too long to ink up. And then you can add dimension to this. So for example, if you want to add a little bead to your... Uh, butterfly you can do so and things like that i'm not sure whether i'm going to do that well i'm definitely not going to do it in this video simply because i don't know where i will put this i think they will make nice tiny tuck spots so uh, to keep them in your journals and this year i am definitely going to try not to bulk up my journals uh because I do write in them all the time. So um, it's just harder when you're bulking up your journal. There are some other binding methods one can use where it can lie flat. And I think the, to me, the, the person that always is trying new binding methods uh, is Corey Darman or Damon from... Uh, Creating with scraps, yeah, creating with scraps, yeah. So she is also excellent in finding ways to use up scraps. So always let's put this down first. It's got really creative ways in using scraps. So we're going to add it on. A little bit more to the top because we want to probably do some stamping at the bottom just to add some uh, I don't know dimension to it so this project goes very quickly uh, the only thing that takes time as you can see is choosing choosing what you want to use I think I think that's the part that takes up more time than anything else you know choosing your little scraps but I guess if I wasn't working on camera I would have um, like what's the word uh, you know to taken all my labels or whatever and put it on a, a, a tray so that it would have been easier for me to sort through or something like that I find there's a disconnect here so let's bring that down there okay and then the last one now and by me on no means am i creative there's people out there that are so much more creative so i am sure you will get to create really nice ones it just gonna add um, some uh, 
maybe more stamping to it and then i'm going to take it off camera going to see all my butterflies go in the same direction did you notice that sorry just stretching over again put this away but something for the bottom here i want you to go across maybe let's try this number on this one Some are easy to come out, some are harder. Let's try this number on this one here. Looking for something long. Sure, this ink pad is really dry now. Hear some noises downstairs. Wonder what they are up to. Let's try workroom 220. Here. I really like these stamps here. They just give you so much of possibilities. Yep, and then the last one. Let's see, what should we use for the last one? That one's going to go there. And I have a feeling I don't want to use something straight because I use something straight over there. So... Let's see what we've got over here to use. These are bigger. Okay, let's use number. It's not straight. <coughs> it is straight. Nope. Way too much like that. Let's try book 710. Now, this is from the field notes. But then it doesn't go through the whole thing. And I want it to. Uh, let's. Let's try this one. I've never used it. Name something. From field notes. Name. Name of remitter. Okay. Let's try that. That might work. Like that. Okay. Crooked, but nevertheless, it's there now. We can't do anything about it. And there we are. So that's done. So I'm going to put you on pause and I'm going to come back after I sew around it to show you the final result. Okay, be back soon. Uh, okay, so I am back. And this is what I have. That's one. So I sewed around with luck. Uh, mm -hmm. brownish but not brown mustard mustard cotton so that's one and then the other one and the other one okay so i hope you can see that if you didn't that's the other one And then that's the other one. Okay, so there you go. These are the three that we did. And I wonder if we can zoom in. 
think that's it. I think we can't zoom in anymore. Okay, so I not sure whether the zoom worked properly, but uh, so I just just stopped it and started re recording again. Okay, so that was the three. I think you managed to see the three. And uh, that's it for today, everybody. Uh, have a blessed week ahead. And remember, uh, if you like this kind of content and uh, you um, haven't as yet subs subscribed, please consider subscribing. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and also a comment. Um, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. And if you watch this video till the end, then maybe put in the comment um, butterfly and then I will know that you watch this till the end. And yeah, so just put in butterfly till the end and then I will know that uh, you actually saw this video till the end. And then and also, please remember, we've got a Facebook group, Sunny Creates Junk Journals. Uh, if you make any of these uh, or if I've inspired you to make anything similar, please take a photograph, pop it into Sunny Creates Junk Journals. We want to get that group more active uh, these days in this year. So let's um, let's work together to try and do that. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a blessed week until we meet again, as I mentioned sure where this video is going to go up i'm hoping that our fiber will be sorted out today but so i do apologize that i wasn't able to bring a video to you yesterday because when i was um ah the fiber was down take care lots of love and once again have a blessed week and have a blessed 2023 bye bye